Hey, good morning, guys. This is Joel Morales. I was just uh, doing a quick little um, prospecting, two-minute prospecting tips for you guys. Um, so for those of you who are out there in the world of prospecting, appointment setting, and are on the phones and just really wondering, how can I really kind of make something out of a really difficult list? Or, you know, you don't have, like, a lot of leads coming in from online, so you've been tasked to basically cold call uh, to make something happen. Well, you know, in general, cold calling is not easy for anyone. And so really what's important is to make sure that you break down your cold calling into a three-step process so that you can remain effective. So I like to kind of break it up into three different parts. The first part would be gather data. So when you call in to speak with a, you know, gatekeeper or the receptionist, listen, you could say, listen, all I'm calling to do is just to get some information, not trying to sell you anything. Um, it, it gives you a better chance at potentially having less sales resistance or less call resistance from the person on the other line. All you want to do is, you know, hi, this is Joel. This is who I am. This is my company. This is what we do. Um, you know, do you guys have someone that does that for you already? Competitor? Um, and or uh, if they do, great. Um, who handles that? Who handles that relationship with the vendor that uh, provides you that service? Um, you gather the information. And then next time you call, you don't have to call in cold. You make a note in your CRM um, that, hey, I now know that at this company, um, Kathy is the person who handles this information and their competitor is X company. Sometimes you will get the competitor on the first call. Sometimes you won't. But at least now know I can ask for Kathy. Okay, so then you get push forward to Kathy to connect with key people. Connect with Kathy. Um, a lot of times you're not going to reach Kathy on the fourth or fifth try. You got to keep calling because you're probably going to get Kathy's voicemail over and over and over again. So you got to call till you connect, and then after that you're either going to drop it or move forward. So once you actually get a hold of Kathy, that's when you find out if this is not an opportunity worth continuing or. Is there something here? And that's when you move it forward to the advanced stage, which is when you're going on the appointment, you're, you're sending a quote, and you're working to win the client. So again, um, that first, you know, set up a list of 100, 150 contacts, you know, a, a good amount of contacts that you can manage in, you know, a, a day or two. Call through, gather information, and then next time around, you already have enough information where you don't have to sound so cold on that initial call. So this is Joel Morales. Here's some prospecting tips for you. Thanks again.